hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe i have had a lot a lot going on okay i've had a lot going on how y'all feeling this kinky straight though how y'all feeling this kinky straight texture i get a lot of compliments on this kinky straight texture now it was nice and flat armed and looking good and stuff but it's been thunderstorming where I'm at, tornadoes, wind, they say 80 miles per hour winds. Living in a state where there is tornadoes and it's spring. And for some reason, the, the, the tornadoes used to be all around us and that they destroy a lot of stuff. It's very, 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 very sad. But the tornadoes are seem like they're moving closer into the city now. They're not just in the surrounding counties. Like the news was like, it's funneled clouds all over the city today. Like, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do in a tornado? What can we really do? Please tell me, they got all these safety precautions. You can go in the basement. But all I'm thinking is, what if it sucks my house up and, you know, the basement part is open? It means I'm going to. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't feeling the tornado thing. Makes me nervous. Every rip. And I have a basement, okay? They say put the kids in the tub and cover them with blankets like they can't still get crushed or sucked up. Stand in the doorway. I understand. Doorway's probably a little stronger. Stop you from getting hit in your head. All of that good stuff. But still, you can still get sucked up. And once you get sucked up by a tornado, like, what do you do? What do you do? This ain't Wizard of Oz. So, that's why my hair looks like this. Like I said, it's big. But I like it big. I get a lot of compliments on this hair. Oh, my goodness. I get a lot of compliments on this hair. Like, a couple people have stopped me and they're just like, your hair is gorgeous. They can't figure out if it's my hair or if it's a wig or if it's a sew-in. I love this texture. The fact that they came out with something close to our texture, like literally I can flat on this mat, flat on it, flat on it. It's still going to have a kind of thick texture to it. Like, I love it. I need to make another video flat on it and wine curling it. You know what? I am going to make another video doing that. Maybe tonight, probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow. Because like I said, this hair is like natural hair. So it blows up like natural hair. Like, look how thick and full this wig is. You can't beat that. Like, even when I straighten it really, really good, go over three, four times, I'm talking about this wig is still full. I love it. The way it blows up in the humidity. I love it. It fits me. I'm urban, you know? And I, you know what, I brought this wig to my city. I thought I was bringing out a new texture everyone would love, but people wasn't really feeling the thickness of the wig. And I'm like, so I understand, you know, I don't know. No, I don't understand because why wouldn't, why wouldn't want nobody want a wig this close to their texture? It is maintenance. It is maintenance. Unless you're cool with walking around with it big. I'm cool with walking around with it big. If my hair was super long like it, now my hair is thick. It's super thick. And that's probably why I'm so happy that they came out with this texture it fits me like i'm black i have kinky hair my hair is probably about right there silk press with my ends clip yeah it's about right there but like i said this texture is it and nobody in my city is really understanding it and they're just like it's big and you have to flat on it and it's not silky and it's not like Caucasian hair. And I feel like we should be able to embrace our culture through our wigs as well. Like, why not? I can't wait to highlight and color this. Like, 
I'm going to wine curl. I have wine curled it. It came out very, very, very beautiful. I actually put a video in my shorts. You can go watch that. This hair is it, okay? This is my new favorite texture. But like I said, I didn't have a lot going on. I've had a lot of reality checks, trying to figure stuff out. And you know, God's leading me where I need to go and I'm trusting the process. But being a business owner can be very, very stressful, okay? Now, remind y'all, like I said in my other video, I went through two, three, I went through three shops and I realized, you know, because of different things that I wanted to be on my own in a suite. So, this is where I messed up. Now, I have been super, 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 super blessed. But I didn't know what to do with those blessings, okay? <laughs> I had them way too early. Now, my first suite was three rooms. Three. I was only doing her at the time. Wasn't really selling her. Wasn't into selling clothes. And I had three rooms. So you know what I was doing? Spending time trying to figure out what to do with those other rooms. It was just too much. I was so happy to get out that suite. Nobody understood it, but my mind was not at peace. It was too much. It was just too much for me. It can be a such thing as some stuff can be too much. It was too much for me. Nobody understands it. They're like, you gave up three rooms? Yes, I did. And I moved into one big room. Now, <laughs> when it comes to this big room, a big room consists of, I feel like I need big shit going on, so, I'm trying to figure out this, and I didn't bought salon equipment for booth renters. Realized I didn't really want to do the booth renting thing. A lot of people's not licensed. A lot of people are licensed. Some people's doing stuff they ain't supposed to do. I'm liable for everybody in that building. And I was just like, I didn't want to deal with the hassle. Didn't want to deal with the different personalities. What can come with it? All of that. So I was like, forget that. I tried bringing somebody in to do massages, henna brows, waxing. Yeah, didn't work out. Basically, I figured out that I need a smaller suite. I want a small suite just for me. Now, I'm a hairstylist. I specialize in custom color and wigs. You can see those in my shorts. I have a lot of wigs in my shorts. Um, now I'm getting into the selling clothes and, you know, purses, accessories, different things, expanding my brand. But I still feel like my suite is just too big for me. It's huge. I don't know. Do I have a video on my shorts? I do have a video on my shorts. My suite is huge. So now I'm working on, I'm trying to move into a smaller suite, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. I might end up having to keep my suite and I'm just going to have to go hard and fill it up with plenty of merchandise and go ahead and do it. I don't know. I'm going to do something. But I done had a lot going on, y'all. I got all these wigs. I got a color. I've been having color blocks. Stuck on how I want to color the wig. And I done had a lot going on, okay? Trying to expand your business can be a beast. Trying to expand can be a beast. And I'm going through the process of transition. Transitioning for the better. Trying to level up for the better. But it's hard to make these decisions. Do I keep the big suite and fill it up with merchandise or do I get a smaller suite and have my mind more at peace? But I'm not sure, I'm not sure what I'm choosing. I'm not sure what I'm choosing because the whole thing about it is if I go into a small suite, I'm gonna be mad if it ends up being too small and I can't fit everything. I have a lot of equipment. I have, I got freaking clothing racks, all type of stuff like that I've been buying over the years for that suite, trying to figure out what I wanted to do. And I have narrowed it down. I want a wig boutique, but boutique consists of selling different stuff. So it's been a lot, it's been a lot. I've ordered a lot of things for it. I have rewrote out my business plan. I have, I'm starting an online store. I'm starting an online store. And see, that's another thing. That's another thing. 
I'm not sure if I want a boutique in person and an online store, or do I just want an online store, or do I just want the boutique in person? I'm moving more towards the online store, but I still have to have a place to take clients, so like, what is the point of not having a store in person as well? There's no way I should be this confused and I'm this blessed, okay? But that's why I haven't made any videos. I've been trying to figure stuff out. I've been coloring wigs. I've been putting wigs out there. I've been satisfying my clients. I've been putting in work, doing what I do. And I just gotta figure out the rest of this stuff. <laughs> but I just wanted to catch y'all up what was going on. I haven't made no videos. I'm about to make a video specifically about this kinky strike though, because it's it, okay? It's it. But if you have not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Thank you for watching my video.